there, welcome back to the studio. So I have been seeing a lot of really stylish cement coasters, very simple cement coasters with a little bit of paint on them, um, on Etsy shops, in various shops around town. So I think that because the theme of my channel is to find ways that you can do things at home with your art, um, I think we're gonna try to make some cement coasters just using this tart mold so stay tuned we'll show you all right so i did get these molds in a three pack so that's nice because i plan on making all of them today um, using a mortar mix that is a rapid set now mortar is different than cement cement you'll have little granules of rock in it so you don't want to get cement so this is a mortar mix three parts mix one part water and my suggestion is that no matter what mix you get, you follow the instructions on the package. So don't follow the instructions in my video. Follow the instructions on your package. Now, if it's a rapid set, then you want to make sure your molds are ready. Everything's ready to go before you start mixing up your cement because you're going to want to move pretty quickly. So I am actually going to pour my water into my cup. Give it a stir. When I'm working with cement or mortar, I always make sure that my windows or doors are open in my art studio. And I begin to turn on my air cleaner. This powder will fly everywhere and you won't be able to use anything that you care about having dust in it for a, a day almost. So when I'm done with this project, I'll close up the art studio again when I'm not here, and then I'll kind of run the um, air cleaner, sweep the floors, make sure I've got all this dust cleaned up before I begin any other resin or paint projects. So, so again, three parts mortar. You see the dust flying off of it already while I'm pouring? <clears throat> and that's just from the bubbles, bringing some up. These bubbles are just the water settling down in. Be a little grainy, but you want it to be rather smooth. And you want to make sure that you wash out your cup as soon as possible. If it's a container that you plan on reusing, then don't wash it out in your sink. I like to use this cup because I can pour straight out of it. So let me go ahead and get started pouring. And then what I like to do with these, when they're totally full, you want to shake them and it evens them out. Also brings up any air bubbles. All right, now that I have all of mine poured, what I like to do is I like to take water and spray it on a towel. This is a mix that is going to cure in about an hour, but it's nice to keep them moist. So I want to have a paper towel. Keeping it moist. Now I can hose it with like straight on with my spray, but I don't want any little divots in it. So this moist paper towel will help. All right, so we'll check this in about an hour. All right, so we're back after about an hour. And what I'll want to do is just check one of these. All right, so it looks like these are setting up nicely. As you can see, this side is a nice smooth surface. 
This side is a slight bit rougher, but what I usually do with these pieces is I'll sand this and I'll sand this edge, paint it, and it's a beautiful coaster. So let's let these dry again, but overnight now, and we'll paint them tomorrow. And so the next step with the cement coasters is to start taking them out of your mold. This is 24 hours later. So as you can see, I've made them different sizes. So I can decide what I want to do with them and sell them in sets of similar size. Now you can see the kind of the rough edge here. Now I like to take a sander and sand them. However, I go to a different part of my studio. I don't like to do a lot of things that are uh, powdery and messy inside my studio. I go down to the garage part and then I sand these off. Now this one has been sanded. So the difference in the edges, as you can see, is this smooth edge versus this kind of brittle edge. And then when that is completed is to the, your liking for sanding, then what you want to do is, is paint or design them any way you want. Now in the case of this particular coaster, I think I'm going to take my cue from some of the beautiful coasters I've seen online. And I'm going to tape off an edge. Just kind of tape across. Make sure that's down tight. And this is uh, Deco Art Outdoor Living paint. Now you can use an acrylic paint, you can use resin on these. I'm just going to do an outdoor living gold today just for the purpose of our video. And so just going to make it simple. Put some outdoor living gold. Now of course you can do these in any color. But this makes a beautiful little finish on it. And sometimes you may want two coats. It depends on the kind of paint you have. So just keep in mind that it could be one or two coats. Now this one is just one. I think it's beautiful just like that. Let me blow dry it a little bit and I'll put a second coat right, on. So that coat is almost dry. We're going to go ahead with coat number two. And like I said, I'm kind of doing this all kind of quickly for the purpose of the video, but you can let your paint set overnight. You can paint flowers on these. You can do whatever you want. And I think that's a little bit of a hole in the cement there. All right, so that seems to be coated pretty evenly. And then you just want to take your tape off. And there you go. Beautiful little cement coaster. You can put your coffee cup on that. You can put your wine glass on that. Isn't that nice? All right, thanks for watching. Uh -huh.